Hey fellas, today we're talking about the worst ice cream you can eat and we're gonna talk about the best ice cream you can eat because uh, if you get it wrong, ooh, there's gonna be problems with your Johnson's for two to three days. Yeah, it's that serious. Plus, I'm gonna show you a stupid, simple ice cream that you can make at home. Very few ingredients. And this is because I used to be a true ice cream fiend. My grandmother came by one day when I was a kid and she made homemade ice cream. And I was like, you can make it at home? <laughs> Yes, I was in awe, and then, ah, oh, shucks, I started eating all the bad ice cream after that. She wasn't there to make it for me, so I was going to the store and getting the wrong kind, and it was, I was a chunky kid. It's not a good idea. And hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B, the men's performance coach with Goodwood. And today I'm gonna to walk down the brand name ice creams so you can understand the differences between them. And hey, by the way, if you're new here, this channel is for guys who are trying to get healthy naturally so their wood can work, so everything can work, they have good relationships, all that wonderful stuff please share this video so we can spread the health love and if you have any questions you can leave those in the comment section i and my team do get to those and oh by the way if you're in the comment section we are running the contest this time you get a good wood mug with some good wood inside of it with all that said what i'm gonna do is break this ice cream down till it cannot be broken anymore All right, let's get started with Ben and Jerry's ice cream. All right, when it comes to its ingredients, yeah, it's got cream, liquid sugar, skim milk, brown sugar, soybean oil, and tapioca flour, which is just a filler. And if this sounds like a sugar bomb, it's because it is. It has 147 grams of carbs and between 35 to 40 teaspoons of sugar. And just in case you're wondering, this is what that looks like. This is, this is a lot of sugar. This is way too much sugar, man. And this is because men are only supposed to get nine teaspoons of sugar daily and women should only get six. So you have high carbs and high fat together, which means not good wood. You, you, no, you're not getting good wood with all that. And I know this personally because I had an ex and I'll explain why she's an ex now. <laughs> because we would go out, get something to eat, and she loved going to Ben and Jerry's ice cream to get the ice cream. And I would go there with her, and we were supposed to go back home and cut it up. And there was, nah, there, mm -mm, no, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. That's because sugar leads to low testosterone. It can damage your blood vessel, and it messes with your circulation to your penis. And that liquid sugar is even worse because it actually deactivates the process for turning on your testosterone. And of course, it dries up the risk of obesity. Now, let's get to another brand name you may have heard of, Breyers Ice Cream. So they're going with 21 grams of carbs and 18 grams of sugar. Well, the problem is, you know, you get those pints and everything, yeah, there's four servings in there. So that's actually 84 grams of carbs. And also, as far as the ingredients, we got high fructose corn syrup and seed oil. This is a problem, even an NIH study on high fructose corn syrups induces metabolic dysregulation. That doesn't sound good at all. So this combination of high fructose corn syrup, which you've probably heard is not good for you because it's not, and then you're adding in seed oils in there, which is not good for you because it's not. So we're talking about something that's slightly better than the Ben & Jerry's, but that's just, you know, you're just choosing between two bad options. So let's go to Breyers Low Carb. We're talking about that carb smart. This uses multitol syrup, which is just a fancy way of saying sugar in a different form. Now the problem here, we got soluble corn fiber and sucralose. These are two basically synthetic fibers and your gut does not like synthetic fibers. That has been shown in an NIH study talking about the effects of sweeteners on the gut microbiota. So this is better than a regular Briars, but this is still, and not really. It's better to stick with something that's plain that doesn't have a whole bunch of these different weird ingredients. Now let's talk about the one that comes the closest to what you actually want, and that's the Haagen-Dazs ice cream. It would be the most expensive one, of course. We're talking about cream, skim milk, egg yolk, cane sugar, and natural flavoring. And it's all the question of what's in that natural flavoring. But the deal is, this one is simple and sweet. You know, it is really a sweet still, because we're talking about that 23 grams of sugar per serving. So with this, it's fewer ingredients and it's natural. And you can actually pronounce all the ingredients. Has half of the sugar that Ben and Jerry's without the high fructose corn syrup or those weird fibers. So this is the healthier choice if you're going to the store, but it's still got a lot of sugar. It's ice cream. But you can do something that's make it at home. And this recipe is very simple, very few ingredients. 
Let's talk about it. We're talking about non-dairy milk. Right here, we're talking about almond milk. We're gonna be using nut butter. This is cashew butter. And if you're allergic to these, these nuts, nuts. <laughs> then you can go ahead and use full fat coconut milk. We're also gonna be using dates and I have them in hot water because you know we're softening them up so we can put them into the blender. And if you don't wanna use the dates, you can actually go with one third cup of maple syrup. We're also using unsweetened applesauce and the applesauce is there to give it more texture. It just, it's in there, but it doesn't overwhelm it and the applesauce is actually good for you. And of course we got vanilla extract and salt. If you're looking for the ingredients and everything, we have it down there in the list. You can also go to givegoodwood.com, go to our blog session, check out the blog there with that recipe and a bunch of other information. So what we're gonna do is add all of those ingredients together inside the blender and simply take it and transfer it to a freezer safe container. Put it in that freezer for two, maybe three hours. And when you're ready to eat, just give it a couple of minutes to thaw out and there you go. Very few ingredients, all of the ingredients are good for you and straight to the point. Yeah. Let that sit overnight and uh, dig in. Ooh, addictive. This here is addictive. Mm-hmm. So guys, the mm. thing to remember is that you need to read the labels. It doesn't matter if they're saying that it's carb smart or it's keto or anything like that. Fewer ingredients, all natural, that's what you need to look for. And of course, the best way to go is to make it yourself because that way you know exactly what the ingredients are. Try these recipes, let me know how it goes and comment down in the comment section. And hey, this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.